Sometimes in life, the opportunity to do something new and exciting falls right into your lap. In this case, it was the first upland hunt for quail, chucker, and pheasant. I couldn't think of anyone better to bring along than my wonderful wife, Abby, who is still relatively new to shooting, and a good old shooting friend, Mr. Jamie Bird. A lot of first time experiences here, so join us as we figure out just how much sporting clays translates. This opportunity came to me when I shot high overall at the 2023 Shooting Out ALS Charity Shoot, organized by a wonderful young lady named Caroline Howard. The shoot was held at my home club with the Olivers at Hunter's Point. First prize was a guided upland bird hunt at Oak Hill Reserve in Snow Hill, North Carolina. Oak Hill sits on over 250 acres and offers everything from fishing for largemouth bass, bream, catfish, and crappie. They also offer deer hunts and guided or unguided bird hunts. With that, I called up the owner Dickie and we temporarily traded in our Castellani vests and little rhinos for more of an upland appeal and these Fiocchi golden pheasant bismuth loads. Jamie, what all did you end up buying to come on this hunt? Well, I bought, the, bought these these muck boots for for big calves. Um, bought the orange vest and the orange hat from Sitka, and that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Look at you looking all good in Sitka gear. Yeah, I'm, I, I feel like a hunter. <laughs> you know, if you if you look the part, you you be the part. Feeling prepared, we linked up with our guide Walt Claybrook. fantastic gentleman who gave us a wonderful safety brief and talked to us about how the rest of the day was going to go. I could tell the only thing that was making the group slightly nervous was working with bird dogs for the first time. As dog parents ourselves, we know ours and their safety was paramount. Plus, they're just beautiful working machines to observe. You know, I decided to shoot today. My handy dandy trusty Krieg off, as always. As always. Fixed mod, I mod jokes. So I figured if I could shoot this for sporting clays, it's definitely gonna work out for uh, hunting. Enough with preparations, let's get into the hunt. One of the things I found great about hunting is that it tends to emphasize the importance and the consistency in your mount. Less experienced shooters may not struggle mounting their gun in a controlled environment, but as soon as you get a bird that surprises you, an inexperienced shooter may revert back to bad habits like rushing the mount or panicking and moving with their hands first rather than their eyes first. Well, lucky for Abby, she's asked for lessons for her birthday, and thankfully her husband knows a guy. Got her signed up with Will Fennel, so I think she'll be fixed in no time. I don't know where he is now. Give him D. Give him D. Give him D. Give him D. This is the part in the video that you hate and I hate doing even more. Please like and share the video. Subscribing to the channel really helps the algorithm. It's free for you, it means the world to me, and I thank you for your continued support. Now let's see how Jamie Bird does on his first pheasant.
There's something to be said about the beauty of these birds. Their colors are absolutely magnificent. They're not very graceful, but wow, they sure are beautiful. This is the first pheasant I've ever shot um, out here at Oak Hill Hunting Preserve in Snow Hill, North Carolina. Um, it's a guided hunt. And you know we've shot quail, chuckers, and, and shot a few pheasant today. This is this is the pheasant that um, that I just shot. So it is a, a gorgeous bird. It's got some short spurs, but um, absolutely gorgeous bird. Um, and the the experience of you know a lot of people talk down the guided hunt. You still got to shoot the bird, whether it is a wild bird or a pin raised bird. They still they still flush. They still fly. Um, you still got to do all the things you need to do as a, as a hunter or a shooter to kill the bird. So Abby, how do you think the hunt's going so far? I think you're doing really well. <laughs> well, I've been very lucky. The birds, have, the birds have come up on my side. That's right, flying That's, your the way. Birds are flying my way. Yeah. I'm not used to carrying my gun that long, <laughs> but it's fun. Do you think any of the sporting clay stuff translates over here? It does. Um, I think if you shoot more feet test, you're probably a lot better at it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you find it difficult to integrate things like the safety or not having your feet set right before the you call pull for the bird and everything like that? Both, because the first couple of times I just forgot almost about the safety because I'm not used to shooting with it, you know, getting ready to shoot with it on. Get it, Abby. Abby, get it. He ran here. <laughs> That's pretty. You shoot, the, you shoot the sheet and everything. I try. Okay. If you mount it properly, the gun will come to your head. Your head won't go to the gun, and it'll be pointing right where your eyes are looking. Okay. And in this, I don't know about skeet, but in this, you don't close. You don't close eyes. No, you we don't. Point it at him. And pull yeah. Him he got hit. Hey. That's super pretty. That's, that's a big one. Yeah, that's a pretty bird. I don't know about you, but nothing makes me happier than to see others close to you be successful. This is Abby's first pheasant, and I think we're gonna have to get this thing mounted for her. All right, Jamie, is this anything like sporting clays? It's maybe not sporting as we know it, maybe more towards FETAS because you're shooting from a low gun and you know following the bird a lot longer um, so but yeah absolutely some similarities I think um, shooting the quail and having them jump up in front of me yeah. um, makes me um, glad that I've shot all the trap birds that I've shot I know right yeah absolutely because this is kind of like shooting a trap bird yeah that's probably one of the things I've definitely noticed is like it's a lot more of your traps your quartering birds and those things yeah we're not seeing like a 50 yard crosser go across the sky right. we're not trying to shoot a pheasant you know at 40 yards to, you know, going left to right or something like but that. Uh, definitely a lot of similarities and I, I think all the all the sporting clays I sh I've shot has helped me be you know kill the birds that I've killed today mm -hmm. For okay. sure. So if you're gonna pick one, you had to only shoot one discipline. Is it sporting or feet task? Feet task. Feet task. That probably makes sense. Yeah, feet task. If this is your jam. Yeah, right? absolutely. If you like hunting and stuff like yeah. that, I think it makes sense. I learned a lot shooting with bismuth. Since non-toxic regulations varied from state to state with everything from no additional restrictions to federal regulations to ones that were specific about specific areas or specific game, it made knowing that we were gonna be eating these birds a lot easier. 
One of the other nice things about bismuth is not worrying about damaging my Kriegoff barrels since it's such a soft metal. Clay targets and bird hunting. Same same, but different. Some of the things that still hold true between the two are things like you can get the job done with whatever sporting gun you use if you're willing to venture into the wilderness with it. Quality ear protection helps like my sound gear phantoms which protect my hearing but also allowed me to remain alert and hear those around me. The Ranger Eyewear helped me see more clearly as always. And you can't forget about having high quality ammunition. When every single shot counts, make sure you are prepared. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to comment below about some of your own hunting experiences. Maybe this just might not be the last one I do. Till next time, take care.